This is a public hearing presentation for the generic amendment that addresses seafood dealer permit and reporting requirements. So right now, um, in some cases, seafood dealer reporting requirements allow for annual catch limits to be exceeded, and they may also increase the uncertainty that is built into management decisions. The Council wants to improve the timeliness, accuracy, and consistency of data that is reported by seafood dealers. So to do that, they're looking at three separate actions in this amendment. The first action deals with the dealer permit requirements. The second action looks at the frequency and method of reporting. And the third action considers requirements for maintaining dealer permits. So we'll start with action one. Currently, um, dealers are required to have separate permits to purchase species in each of these following fisheries management plan. In the mid-Atlantic, dolphin and wahoo. In the South Atlantic, golden crab, rock shrimp, snapper grouper, and wreckfish. And in the Gulf of Mexico, reef fish. So the first alternative is the no action alternative. So that would keep permits as they currently are. The second alternative, which is the Gulf Council's current preferred alternative, would establish one universal federal permit to cover a number of different species. There are two options underneath alternative one. Option A would require that universal permit to purchase species in these following fisheries management plan. So that one permit would cover Atlantic Dolphin and Wahoo, South Atlantic Golden Crab, Rock Shrimp, Snapper Grouper, Wreckfish and Shrimp, Gulf of Mexico Reef Fish, Red Drum and Shrimp, and Gulf and South Atlantic Joint Plans of Coastal Migratory Pelagics and Spiny Lobster. You'll notice each of the species that have an asterisk next to their name would be species that would newly require uh, a permit to purchase. And that is South Atlantic Shrimp, Gulf Red Drum and Shrimp, and the both joint Gulf and South Atlantic Management Plans. Option B is the Gulf Council's current preferred option, and it would require a universal permit to purchase species in the following plants. Atlantic Dolphin Wahoo, South Atlantic Golden Crab, Rock Shrimp, Snapper Grouper, and Wreckfish, Gulf of Mexico Reef Fish and Red Drum, Joint South Atlantic and Gulf, Coastal Mac Migratory Pelagics, and Spiny Lobster. And as you can see, same with the last slide, the species with an asterisk next to them would be newly added um, to require a permit in order to purchase. Now the difference between these two options is that in option B, shrimp is, is included in the South Atlantic and Gulf, and here in option B, shrimp is not included. Alternative three, which is the South Atlantic's current preferred alternative, would establish separate Gulf and South Atlantic federal dealer permits. There's also two options underneath this. Option A would require a separate permit to purchase the species in the following fisheries management plan. So the South Atlantic permit would cover dolphin wahoo, golden crab, rock shrimp, snapper grouper, coastal migratory pelagics, spiny lobster, and shrimp. And the Gulf of Mexico permit would cover reef fish, red drum, coastal migratory pelagics, spiny lobster, and shrimp. And again, the ones with the asterisks would be newly added into the requirements to have for dealers. And then option B, which is the South Atlantic's current preferred, would require permits to purchase species in these following management plans. South Atlantic permit would cover dolphin wahoo, golden crab, rock shrimp, snapper grouper, including wreckfish, coastal migratory pelagics, and spiny lobster. And then the Gulf of Mexico permit would cover reef fish, red drum, coastal migratory pelagics, and spiny lobster. The difference between option A and option B under this alternative is that Option A would include shrimp, whereas option B does not. So let's talk about the second action that the council is considering. Currently, dealers must report all of their seafood purchases no later than five days at the end of a reporting period. South Atlantic snapper grouper and Gulf reef fish must be reported twice a month, and all of the other species have to rep be reported once a month. There are a number of different alternatives. Um, we'll start with reporting method options that are being considered. Alternative one would be the no action, and so seafood dealers could report by fax, electronically, or by mail. Alternative two would require, require dealers to report via fax or through electronic methods. 
Alternative three, which is the Gulf and South Atlantic's preferred alternative, would require electronic reporting. And in alternative four, that would happen if separate permits were created in action one. Gulf dealers would have to submit by fax or electronically in the first year, and then every year after that, electronic reporting would be, qu be required. So it would sort of allow for a phase-in. And then alternative five, the last alternative, could be added to, along with any of the previous alternatives in this action, and that would allow for paper reporting to be used as backup during some sort of catastrophic condition. Action 2 also deals with the frequency of reporting, and there are a number of different options here. Option A would require daily reporting. Option B, which is the Gulf and South Atlantic's current preferred alternative, would require weekly reporting. Option C would require weekly reporting unless daily reporting is needed, and that would be in conditions like um, when a species annual catch limit is expected to be harvested quickly. Uh, option D would require reporting once every two weeks. Option E would require reporting once every two weeks unless weekly reporting is needed. Much like option C, that would happen if an annual catch limit was expected to be reached quickly. And then just make note that any of the alternatives that are included in this um, would require that purchasing king mackerel landed by the gillnet sector in the Gulf West Coast Florida Southern subzone would have to report daily. So we'll move on to action three, the last action in this amendment, the current requirements to maintain a permit. Um, right now, dealers that are purchasing Gulf Reef Fish or South Atlantic Snapper Grouper have to report regardless of whether or not purchases are made. All other species only need to be reported if purchases are made in a reporting period. So there's two options here. The first alternative is a no action alternative, so that wouldn't change the current requirements. And the second alternative would require that dealers report regardless of whether or not a purchase is made. Dealers would be authorized to receive fish only if their previous reports had been submitted in a timely manner. So I've gone over the separate actions that are being considered and the alternatives that we have as options for this amendment. If you want to read more, you can see the full document at the link below. Also, the council requests that if you'd like to submit comment, you do so by August 13th, 2012. One of the easiest ways to do that is to click on this link, and it'll bring you to an electronic comment form where you can leave us your thoughts. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us at golfcouncil at golfcouncil.org or give us a call at 888-833-1844.